Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's do it. Let's play for Stellaris. And a couple things off the bat here. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been giving me welcome back. So I've just been putting some videos up here recently after a long hiatus. Um, also, the sound audio should be a lot better starting on this video. Uh, I did order a professional mic that I have now. I may still have to play with a few of the, the levels here and there, but the um, the cutting in and out and the, the kind of high treble sound of the, the couple of Sorcerer King Rival videos I did should be gone at this point. Um, so yeah, we'll move on with all that. Um, Stellaris is a, is a really cool game. Um, obviously I'm very familiar with Paradox games, as you guys know. Um, I just picked this game up a couple days ago. It's been out since last year, and I know early on it had a lot of criticism, um, for some performance, I believe, and then some of the mechanics here and there. Um, and I know there's still some criticism a little bit that I kind of read around where some people are criticizing still some of the mid to late game uh, shenanigans that go on, I guess, as, as with performance purposes, which a lot of people point fingers at Paradox because it, the game engine is only utilizing a single core and doesn't take advantage of newer quad-core systems. Well, I mean, quad-core's been around forever, but anyway, um, this is actually my second chance at recording this video because my first chance, uh, before I got to gameplay was like 10 minutes and I wasn't going to make you guys suffer through that. Uh, but anyway, um, right now is a good time I figured to get into Stellaris and that's why I picked it up a few days ago because they just announced, I think the day before yesterday, the first like full-size expansion for it, Utopia, which is coming out on April 6th, 2017, depending on when you're reviewing this video. So I figured I'd kind of play the game here. I've already played one game of this for about four hours, so I got a pretty good grasp on all the, the general mechanics. I feel I'm about 85% comfortable with everything going on. I figure the rest of it you guys can just yell at me in the comments and help me along. Um, but this should be a, a good time to kind of play through the game now and I have about a month to kind of get it figured out pretty well so that then maybe when the Utopia expansion comes out I can kind of hit the ground running right away so maybe some of you guys who want to hold off on the Utopia expansion or have kind of like you know fell off from the game right now maybe later when I do a, a video series with the Utopia expansion maybe you guys can kind of watch out to see if it's you know something along the lines of what you were hoping for uh, from the game all along so let's go ahead and get into this as quickly as we can I am not going to create a new race. Uh, I thought about it. I thought about making the Tavernites, but there wasn't a race with all beards, so eh, it didn't work out. Um, plus, I don't really like just creating, like, the optimal uh, species or whatever and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I kind of like having the challenge of, um, you know, using some of the pre-mades that kind of have their positives and negatives and even positives that work out as negatives and all that kind of stuff. But um, I kind of looked through the list here of all of them. The first practice game I did, I did do with the United Nations of Earth. Um, just, I kind of wanted to keep it vanilla just to be able to learn things pretty easily. Um, but I am going to play with the Kel Azan Republic, a military republic, which a military republic, if you haven't played that on this game yet or are not familiar, uh, you can see there it holds an election every 10 years to select a new ruler, and then you get a bunch of pluses for army damage and army upkeep and things like that. And again, if I'm if it seems like I'm talking kind of fast here, it's because when I went back and looked at my first test version, and it took me ten minutes to get to gameplay, I was horrified because I knew everybody would say, "Oh God, it took ten minutes." So anyway, I'm trying to get through this a little bit quicker. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, and some of these stuff, some of this other stuff, we'll kind of look at as we go. They do have a negative fleeting, which says uh, minus fifteen years lifespan uh, compared to other species. So. Uh, it is what it is. They specialize in mass drivers from the get-go, Savannah Worlds, um, uh, the arthropod-type ships, so that's pretty cool. I, I like the look of those ships, actually. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, well, I guess you can change the logo on these pre-made ones. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go with that. Um, most of the settings I'm going to keep the same. Again, I already touched on the whole thing where a lot of people say that the mid to late game really bogs down, especially if you're playing with larger uh, galaxy sizes. Um, I have a pretty, I have a brand new computer, obviously, so, um, but the game, supposedly the engine does not take advantage of quad core technology, so regardless of all your other stuff, it still can bog down once you get to a certain point uh, with very large fleets and things like that. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it on medium. 
um, because I feel that's probably, I think small to medium is the sweet spot, and I'm just going to leave it on medium, I think. And I think I'm just going to really leave everything pretty much default uh, at this point, so let's just kind of get into it. All right, Kalazan Republic. In the eons since the first primitive Kelazan communities took shape on the great savannas of Azak, Azak, our civilization has spread and prospered. Many wars were fought between our early nation states, and those who could not defend themselves disappeared or were absorbed by their stronger neighbors. These endless wars fostered a strong martial tradition, and to this day, full citizenship is reserved for those who have proved willing to sacrifice themselves in defense of the state. Now, after the successful creation of artificial subspace wormholes, the finest minds of the Kelazan Republic have finished construction of the first wormhole station at the edge of our system. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Excellent. That's what the button should say. Welcome, Consul. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence developed under utmost secrecy by the military. High Command has activated me to serve as your advisor and strategic analyst. Okay. Um, I played full tutorial in my first game that I played for four hours, and that kind of gives you some quests to set up, tutorial missions and stuff. I'm not going to mess with all that. I am going to leave the tips on, though, because I am far from an expert in the game, and I hope maybe a tip or two pops up that uh, gets my attention. So Very well. we'll I will that. provide. So let's go ahead and get started now. I'm not going to treat this as a tutorial series because the game's been out for a while, and there's a ton of those already out there. Um, and most of you who are watching this probably have more ex uh, experience and don't need to hear me explain everything. However, my general style of playing these games that you guys know from over the years is that I will kind of, I can't help but explain a few things here and there as we go. So let's go ahead and um, first thing I want to do right off the bat is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save here just to be on the safe side. So let's do that. YouTube one save all right so a couple things we'll do right off the bat here to get going um one of the first things i want to do is when we start off here let's see we have uh, one science ship one construction ship so the one science ship this is our science ship yep. which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system a planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible okay we don't need to see that again so this is our home system, so let's go ahead and get him surveying the whole system. So, let's see, it all zigzags out, so that's one of the first things we wanted to do. Okay, um, our fleet that we have here, okay, 102, so it's, um, okay, first... Three fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats, or three to ships. expand our glorious rule through force of arms if we so wish okay yep sounds good all right and then let's do let's see what kind of a uh, researches we have get that going right off the bat before we kind of get the the whole thing going and is there any is there any resources well we won't know that till the the scouting gets done and i'm going to want to get another scout ship done pretty fast and our or another science ship and our first science ship can i um one thing i wanted to do um, nah, he's okay, yeah. I was gonna, like, try to see if I wanted to rename, but nah, we'll go ahead and leave that alone for now. Um, so... Yeah, that's I want. I do want to get another scout ship pretty quickly. The spaceport tab is where so, we view or another science ship. I, I keep calling them a scout ship. And upgrade the station itself. Probably drive some people crazy. If the planet has no spaceport, we can order the construction of one if we have the necessary resources. So I'm gonna get one science ship, and I'm gonna build. Well, we'll hold off on that until we get some stuff going. But I do want to get the one science ship going right off the bat. And then let's go ahead and the see... The technology screen is where we will okay. be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields. Right, right. With each field typically having three available... 
Okay, so we're going to try to... I'm going to go through some of this, and I know I'm probably going to make some bad choices because I haven't played the game enough to really have it ironed down. I know some of the good things to do in particular early on is if to, in order to get your ship designs up a little bit is look for some things like, you know, engines and weapon upgrades in some cases when you can. I know one no-brainer right off the bat, obviously, is to do the colony ship uh, research because what happens with this game... And here goes my tutorial mode. What happens is you get a random draw each time. So the first draw, you always have a colony ship, a New World's Protocol here. But if I don't train it now, if I train one of these, then when the next three pop up, I may not have the colony ship option. So you kind of always want to do this colony ship option first. So that's the no-brainer. Um, mm -hmm. On this one, let's see what we have here. We have solar panel network. Um, this helps with... Uh, some of your maintenance costs with uh, spaceports and stuff. Um, not something I'm too worried about right now. Energy storage capacity, that's a pretty good one. Um, that will enable us to store um, more of the energy produces for. Okay. Planet fortification toughness. I think I'm going to go with this right here because then it gives also the better power plants and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to go with that one. <laughs> and then for our engineering, engineering facility, missile defense. Okay, that's for on, the, on a spaceport. The nuclear missiles... Swiss can't be surprisingly effective at range. Eh. Mineral storage capacity plus a thousand. Mining network two. I think we're gonna go with that. I think that's what I'm gonna go with first. So you guys can tell me if those were bad choices, but those were the. I'm raising some capacities early and getting colony ships going. I think those were a solid. Solid three choices from the get-go. Um, so let's go ahead and get this going. Now, one thing about this game, for a few people who are not super familiar with it, one thing about this game is, unlike um, a lot of these styles of games, like I have a lot of experience. I played Endless Space. I did some videos on it. Um, played Sword of the Stars uh, 1 and 2, even though 2 was a disaster early on. Um, I played a lot of these kind of games, and this game, m more than most... Uh, focus especially early on a lot on exploration um, exploration kind of you know kind of quest elements decision making colonization a lot of that is the is especially the early game there's actually very little fighting so to speak early on in my four hour game I only had about two fights and I think both of those or I think I had three fights. Two of them were against colonists, little colonist fleets that rebelled, and my dog's over here making noise, um, that rebelled up. And then one fight was against some, like, weird uh, Construction AI thing that I ran into in the system. Um, but yeah, the fighting, I think, is more of a mid to late game. So you can't ignore building up your fleet and your technologies as you go, but it isn't the main crux of a game like a lot of these styles of games. Um finish its construction okay so we have our other science ship um i'm gonna go ahead the and assign lets us hire dismiss and assign idle governors scientists admirals and generals we're gonna recruit somebody real quick um research speed theater experience let's, let's go with one of the research speeds and we'll go with the younger guy. Yeah, I know that's terrible, right? Let's go with that one. Put that there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to send him to get which one is the closest. This is one in our right in our area already. So we're going to go survey that system. Okay, so we'll go back over here. We have found an anomaly. All From right. time to time, our science ships will discover strange things while surveying worlds. These can be researched by scientists, but be certain their skills are up to the task. Interesting. All right, so what we got here, let's pause for just a quick second. Uh, during the survey of our home system, we found something 
on wax up hacks a lot <laughs> wax up hacks up that did not match earlier observations made from our home world okay failure risk is zero percent so it's there's no way he's gonna fail it's a uh, anomaly level one which is fine um so i'm gonna tell him to leave it be for now but we'll come back to it here shortly so that'll be something right there at wax up hacks up so let him just keep on doing his thing. Um, keep everybody busy. Uh, okay, our s fleet there. Um, okay, now one thing. Let's see. As soon as he finds anything. Okay, this planet right here has engineering. So I'm going to go ahead and just get that going right off the bat. So This is our construction ship which is used to construct space stations. Yep, got it. We're gonna... Well... Yeah, we wanna do a research station. Whoops. Sorry. I got confused for a second there. Okay, so he's gonna scan that. And our other guy... Did our other guy take off already? I think he did. I think that's him coming through. Oh. I, I think I paused it midway. That's just me being goofy. Yep, yep, he's there now. There he goes. So we can kind of see his pattern looking for looking for stuff now one thing i know a uh, strategy that some people say is a good thing to do early on too is that you can at least use your uh, military uh your your squadron your fleet um to go into systems just to kind of check out look at the planet types and see if there's enemies there but i'm not going to worry about that right this second until i kind of see a, a direction i may go mostly where are we at on the system we're kind of at the top Man, I kind of, I kind of don't like how we're got some big pockets system spread survey here. Complete. Okay, so system survey is complete here. So we want to take this guy now and go to the next one that's going to be the closest. Hmm. Let's go over. Hmm. Let's go this way. That's kind of going out to the top. Yeah, we'll go to this one first, then wrap our way around that way. So let's go over this way. Survey that system. Oh, wait, 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 stop. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Stop. I want him to go take care of this first. I want him to re actually research that one thing first. And that was really all we had. Complete. That's really all we had in the system. We have no, like, no other resources or anything. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that. Construction complete, right? Okay. Um, and the other thing is... Here we see a visual representation of this planet's surface, divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a single tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. Got it. Okay. Uh, we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Beetlejuice 2. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, if what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, the civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Betelgeuse system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found among the artifacts indicates that this First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Interesting. And this begins the precursors the first league event chain. Situation log up 
updated. Okay, and then here, abnormal conditions. As our science ship scans the surface of Betelgeuse 2, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunity to gather. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Intriguing. A planet modifier appears on Betelgeuse 2. Excellent. Okay, so one thing I wanted to look at here is the buildings thing I'm not super, super familiar with. Um, but I, with the buildings thing is you can build the different buildings in the areas. I mean, and everything's kind of built up already, um, except for this one where the population is building. So I think I want to build something there. Um, some buildings may cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Let us take this into consideration when constructing new facilities. building another power plant there but we got quite a bit actually I'm not really sure what I should build there to be honest except for maybe more food to help with population growth yeah I think I'm just gonna put a hydroponics farm there yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, Alright, and then... Okay, the construction ship. Do we have... Let's keep it going. Do we have something else we want the construction ship to do yet? I don't think so. Well, we have some stuff here. And I think this is within our... Yep, it's within our system now. So yeah, let's go over and get... Um, Beetlejuice 2, that's the one with the... This world been for mostly, yeah, okay. Nope. Oh, contact report. Remnants. The Kelazan Republic is abuzz with news of the alien remnants studied at the Kaz Zak Shabak Jacks. Uh, these leavings... Uh, yeah, yeah, these leavings are considered definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we are at least not the first to be so. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to put the construction ship over here and have him do a mining station. System survey complete. Okay, and then... Uh, that, that's the system here. So really nothing that great... Secrets at the doorstep. The anomaly we detected on Waxap Hagzazab unveils something astonishing. The planet is surrounded by a trail undoubtedly produced by the F by FTL engines. We are unable to trace it to its origin due to it being generated long ago. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. It will most assuredly grant us new knowledge and technology. Excellent. Let's, let's pause for a second. Um... So we're gonna have him. I'm gonna go. I, I know you can queue him, and I'm I will start doing that soon. But I'm just trying to kind of map my directions a little, little more deliberate for a second. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna have him go over here, and then have him go over there unpause okay so I kind of got them basically and I mean I guess what I'll have him do is then go no wait a minute now this is Let's just leave it at that first. 
trying to think here. We got that, that, that. Okay. And actually, there's, yeah, there's a, a lot of growth for that. Okay, and we have all those. I'm trying to think of what other little things I need to do. Actually, what I'm going to do is, I know this has is, is already been going for a while, so I'm probably going to pause the video right here. This is probably a good part where we got the setup, picked the race, kind of got our uh, survey ships going, um, built a couple little things, did one research, so we kind of got the basic, basic starts. I just need to figure out which direction I want to go. I kind of over this direction, if I start hitting some really good things over here, ooh, wait, potentially habitable planet here already, so we may end up going this direction depending on how it plays out to the south. Um, this guy, we're going to go here, here, and, updated. and then probably go over this way. Um, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Shellac system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens until we can learn more about them. We should process with ca uh, proceed with caution. Investigate alpha aliens. Okay, new alien. Uh, news of new aliens humming... Th uh, sh alien ships humming through... The Aether have reached Azak, in many ways ending the first chapter in the book of the Kel Azan Republic's bid for a stellar empire. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, hostile fleet. There we go. Uh, this one, hailing of fleet. Okay, so over here. So that's not good. Let's take a quick look at that real quick. The 554. So we got no hope of messing with the guys in the shellac system. So what I'm going to do is we will have them, they're going to come back. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just have, let them come back and then we'll probably map up to this direction and leave that go. And one thing I will do, well, no, we're kind of low on minerals and everything. We really need to get some minerals and some other things going. And here, this looks like a possible, ooh, 90%. 90% and it's huge okay well we're definitely going to colonize uh, way we're going to call that way <laughs> way 3 that is definitely going to be um, right after our colonization research gets uh, completed um, which we're still a little ways off 55 months remaining on that that is going to be our first target for colonization right there. So we're good to go on that. So we're probably going to push this direction more. So actually, I may have... Um, may have them actually come and do survey system there. Yeah, I think we'll do it that way. Okay, so I think that's a good setup for this first uh, episode so you guys can go and give me some tips things to make sure i do any little things like that if you want um or you can just go along for the ride and see how it all plays out uh, anyway thanks for joining me here in the tavern and i will have the next video up probably i'm gonna try to do you know maybe one video either you know i may get in habits where the sec another video may come out the next day or maybe two days or something to that kind of a rhythm um, I'm going to kind of be doing this one in the Sorcerer King series, kind of back and forth a little bit, uh, along with some other miscellaneous stuff, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time in the tavern.